Hello. So um, after the last episode, I was talking about cooling. Um, so I thought I'd just give you a little quick update as to where I am now. Um, I've managed to mount up the intercooler, uh, and I've made a little bracket for the oil cooler now. And also the pipe work has come back. So let me just show you. Um, oh, in addition to that, so I've just test fitted it with the bumper on. As you can see, it's all looking quite normal. Um, there's the intercooler in there. It sits a little bit further forward than the standard one does, which is good to be honest, because there was a massive gap between. Um, and down there. So I'll just quickly remove the bumper and you can see exactly how I've done it. And uh, see you in a sec. Okay, so looking at it now with the bumper off, uh, you can see pretty much what I've had to do. So this bar here, um, I've just got a, I think it's a three or even four mil bit of mild steel metal bar. Um, any old hardware shop will do that. And um, bent it by hand um, with the help of a vice. Um, and attached it with some rib nuts and M8 bolts to the standard crash bar down here. So that's nice, nice and secure. Um, I have trimmed out the bumper bar here a little bit just to give a bit more access to the core through the bumper there. I may also drill some holes through the bumper. Um, you can see down here we've got the uh, in school pipes that have been fabbed up by uh, turn 12 fabrication big thanks to them uh, We've got one down here as well So they pass around nicely and obviously with the bumper in place too, which is kind of important uh, the only caveat to that is When we move around here, so if you remember before I said about that I was going to put an oil cooler in here um for the transmission cooling. Now, I'm still gonna do that, which is why this bracket is, is here, which has been made and attached um, up to the bumper bar again. Uh, but I just need a smaller core, and then the hoses will pass through under here, and it'll all hook up nicely. So lastly, up here, where the pipe comes out, I'm just gonna need to trim that back down again and probably have it re-beaded. And then this obviously has got a bit of movement in it because it's not, it's not attached at the moment. Um, but we just have a, I think about a 60 degree bend is what I needed on there and the other side similarly I think a 45 when the turbos are refitted so that's a little update on those um, I think it's actually come together quite nicely but obviously it's important when you're fitting something that's not designed for the car it's a generic item as this in the cooler is uh, you're obviously going to have to come up with some solutions um, to make it work and I'm not saying that this is going to be it for now. I may very well have to trim a little bit here and there uh, just to make it sit perfectly. But I think so far it's actually looking pretty good and it's going to do the job quite nicely. So looking forward to using it.